Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa mabarakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters. This is Ustada Amina Blake with you, and subhanAllah, we are a quarter of the way through this beautiful month. And hasn't this month been made so much better for us with the lockdown and the situation? Because the hardship brings us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring you closer to Him through this hardship, inshallah. The Sahaba عنهم, used to make dua six months before Ramadan, asking Allah, Ya Allah, let us live until the next Ramadan. Your dua and my dua, alhamdulillah, this year was answered. But there will come a year, my brothers and sisters, where you do not live till the next Ramadan and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returns your soul to him. During the month of Ramadan, there are different types of fasters, different types of people who are fasting. In a Sahih Hadith, the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, there are people who fast and get nothing from their fast except hunger and thirst. So we're going to think about how we're using our time in Ramadan. Let's visit a beautiful surah that actually Imam Shafi Rahimallah says is sufficient alone to reflect on. This is Surah Al-Asr. He says, Wal Asr. Subhanallah, this takes us back down to ground zero. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls us losers. All of mankind are losers by time. We've lost this race. Once time runs away, you cannot get it back. I cannot get it back. Once this Ramadan has gone, it's gone. Do you want to be a winner or do you want to be a loser? But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends a rope of hope out to certain people. This is illa, except, illa ladhina amanu, except those who believe, wa, and, so believe and amilu salihati, do righteous deeds. Subhanallah, Islam is not just an identity, brothers and sisters. It's your belief and it's what you do with your belief. What salihati are you doing this month? Whether it's giving a sadaqah of a smile or whether it's giving a million pounds. Subhanallah, this is all something to give. Whether it's helping your parents or your spouse spouse, or whether it's helping your neighbours who are maybe in the middle of the COVID-19 situation. Subhanallah, small deeds or big deeds, they don't matter. We are all unique. What is the quality of your goodness, of your khair? Are you doing this thing with ikhlas, with purity? Because we don't want to be one of those who are mentioned in the hadith where the Rasulullah adds on and there are those who pray at night who get nothing from their prayer but a sleepless night. Are your deeds forever deeds? Are you working towards being what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to as as sabirin In Surah Al-Imran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wallahu yuhibbu sabirin And Allah loves the patient ones. Allah's love will open your heart and doors to success you never knew existed. But during this Ramadan, we need to use our time efficiently and well to gain that love, inshallah ta'ala. It opens amazing doors. In Ramadan, the shayateen are tra- trained, the gates to Jahannam are closed and the gates to Jannah are wide open. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.